About 80,000 people work at 21 Department of Defense industrial depots all over the United States, repairing ships, aircraft, and ground vehicles. Many of these facilities were originally designed and built during World War I and World War II. As a result, many facilities are not up to modern standards or large enough for efficient work, and more than half of all the depots rely on facilities that are on average in poor condition. For example, in one hangar, maintainers can only work on a single FA-18 Super Hornet at a time because the facility was never designed to handle the power requirements of modern aircraft. If they work two at a time, the entire hangar loses power. Poorly configured facilities can cause extra work and make additional damage more likely. For example, a weapon system might need to travel several miles through a poorly configured process, which can expose it to additional damage through accidents or environmental factors such as heat and humidity. In addition, most of the depots are using equipment that has passed its expected useful life. Old equipment is at greater risk of failure and frequently needs repairs. And when equipment breaks down, work might have to stop. For more information and recommendations on how DOD can improve facilities and equipment at its depots, check out our report at gao.gov.